Hi, this is Rose from Real TV Films. I'm here with, here with Annie O'Neill, the director and producer from Fields Camino. How are you doing this evening? This is a great evening, <laughs> so I'm doing wonderfully tonight. Well, good. I'm glad to hear that. So, I just met with Phil himself. I know. He's such an amazing guy. How is it to work with him? Oh, my gosh. Phil is just a dream come true. You know, it's funny because a lot of artists talk about their muse, and you always think of, you know, Gwyneth Paltrow and, you know, these amazing, beautiful women in Art Deco gowns. I think Phil, that crusty old Marine, is my muse. <laughs> There's nothing <laughs> wrong with that. <laughs> Good okay. point. So, okay, so how, how did you and Phil connect exactly? How, how did you end up telling his story well, with him? Yeah, Phil, um, Phil wrote me on Facebook. His wife wrote to me first. Mm -hmm. He and his wife went and saw a film that I was in called Walking the Camino Six Ways to Santiago. That's a feature-length documentary film. So he and his wife watched it, and they loved it. And so first his wife wrote to me, oh, we saw your film and we really loved it, and I wrote back. And then Phil wrote me an incredible letter. He wrote me one of those letters that you just go, I can't believe I'm reading this beautiful letter from someone that I've never even met. And he told me about his Camino. He told me about what it was like to walk his Camino in his backyard. And he told me that his priest had come and blessed it so it was kosher. And, and he was just so charming. And at the very end, he said, come walk with me. Love, Amazing. Phil. And so I did. I went to Seattle and I walked his Camino. And as we sat at his kitchen table, his wife and Phil and I, before we went out to walk his Camino, I felt exactly the same way that I used to feel when I was walking the Camino in Spain in the morning before I would hit the trail. That same sense of anticipation, but also a kind of a sacred feeling about what I was about to embark on. And that's how I felt with Phil. And I thought to myself, this is so incredible. Someone should make a movie about this. But I didn't realize at that moment that that someone would be me. No, that's amazing <laughs> that it resonated so, so, so powerfully with you. Yeah, and we just, I felt like a kindred spirit. And when I mentioned to Phil, like, Phil, we've got to put this in a film, he thought that was the funniest thing he'd ever heard. He just laughed. But around, you know, we, we started writing each other letters online after I left his Camino. And around the same time, um, I was finishing my book. I wrote a book called Everyday Camino with Annie. And to proofread the book, it, it's the Everyday Camino with Annie is kind of a 40-day meditation on the Camino. And I have 40 entries to represent each day that I walk the Camino. So as a way of proofreading it, I asked a bunch of friends if I could email them every day one day's worth of text. And so I asked Phil if he would be willing to be one of the proofreaders. And he said yes, and I think that's where we really bonded. We really connected and we really saw each other's souls. Because I, of course, was burying my soul writing the book, but he would write me back these beautiful emails after he would read what I had written. And it was just an incredible experience. And it deepened my understanding for my own book and it deepened our relationship. So that was a really really magical connection. Of course, that's very touching. As a female produce, director and producer, how, how did this resonate with you as far as your career development and goals? Well, you know, it's interesting. Someone just um, told me this afternoon that I was persistently optimistic, that I was the most persistently optimistic person she'd ever met. And I think that's a pretty accurate description. And so I think that that kind of overrides any hesitancy I might have of like, wow, you know, I'm a f woman director, maybe I shouldn't ask that question, or maybe I shouldn't. But actually in documentary filmmaking, I think um, being extremely sensitive and empathetic, which people generally associate with women, whether or not that's true, I think that's an that's a aid, that's a, that's a good thing. Um, and just being willing to listen, being willing to hear, the answers, whatever they are. And 
I, I don't know. It was just, I feel like I had a vision. And this was my vision. Well, obviously, you're really good at this genre, and your passion you. definitely is displayed. <laughs> so, congratulations on the film, and thank you so uh, much. Good luck tonight. And thank I, you. I look forward to seeing it again. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you for this interview. Thank you.